Hello students, today I will be discussing the different types of chemical reactions. We will be focusing on the four basic types of chemical reactions and I will also be showing you the general form of each type of chemical reaction as well as different examples of each type. So, i-explain ko rin sa inyo kung paano madaling makikita kung anong type of chemical reaction siya. So, without further ado, let's start. So, the first type of a chemical reaction is a synthesis or a combination reaction. So, for the case of combination reactions, you can have two or more reactants and only one product. So, parang ganito yan. This is an analogy of a combination reaction. This one is your first reactant and then this one is your other reactant. And if you combine them, that's why we call it combination reaction. When we combine them, meron ka na lang isang product. So, what is the general form for a combination reaction? The general form would be A plus B yields AB. Okay? So, ano ba yung A at saka B? A and B here on the left are your reactants. While A, B here on the right would be your product. In the reactant side, A can be an element and B can be a compound. Pag nag-combine sila, compound pa rin ito. But also, it can also be two compounds na pag pinagsama mo ay compound pa rin ang lalabas. So, let's give an example. An example of an element and a compound in a combination reaction would be this. So, how do we read that? We have sodium plus chlorine gas yields sodium chloride. If you will notice, we have the same elements on the left and the right side of our reaction. We have sodium here, we also have sodium here, we have chlorine here on the left, we also have chlorine here on the right. So that means that the elements are conserved kasi may tinatawag tayo na law of conservation. So whatever you see on the left, you will also see on the right, but there will be rearrangements. So in this case, this one is an element plus this one, it is a compound, you combine them, you will be having a compound. Kaya siya tinawag na combination, o ulitin natin, kasi meron kang two or more reactants, and you only have one product. Another example, in this case, this is uh, composed of two compounds in the reactant's side. So, we have ammonia, NH3, plus hydrochloric acid, that's your HCl. These two are compounds. If you combine them, you will be getting NH4Cl, which is ammonium chloride. Bali, ang pinaka-clue natin dito, dapat isa lang yung product ninyo para makonsider siya na combination reaction. Alright, so let's go to the second type of reaction. The second type of reaction is a decomposition reaction. A decomposition reaction occurs when a single compound breaks down into two or more simpler products. In short, this is like the opposite or the reverse of a combination reaction. So, in what way? This is an analogy. Kanina, sa combination reaction, we have one product. In a decomposition reaction, the clue here or the hint here is that you should have only one reactant. Alright? This is your reactant and it decomposed into two or more simpler products. Kumbaga parang break up siya. 
nag-break yung compound dito. And you can either have a compound and an element or two compounds in your products. What is the general form? The general form would be, sabi ko nga kanina, reverse po ito ng combination. You have AB yields A plus B. So examples para mas maintindihan natin. Here you have hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Component siya nung agua oxinada kung familiar kayo doon, yung pinanlilinis ng mga sugat. It yields water and oxygen gas. Ano yung clue natin? Isa lang ang reactant. You have two or more products. Another example. Zinc carbonate yields zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Again, you have only one reactant, but you have two products. If you will inspect closely, also, tulad na sinabi natin kanina sa combination reaction, you have the same elements on both sides of the reactions. In this one, you have hydrogen and oxygen. You also have hydrogen and oxygen on the other side. Same goes with your second reaction. You have zinc, carbon, and oxygen on both sides of the reaction. So, madali na lang ito sa inyo, lalo kapag memorize ninyo or very familiar po kayo sa periodic table of elements. Now, uh, you may ask me, Ma'am, why do some of your compounds have numbers in front while others do not? So, some of the compounds and elements that I am presenting to you are part of balance equations. Some are not balanced. So, when we say balance, dapat same yung number ng element sa left at saka sa right side. So, if you are not yet familiar with balancing equations, I have another video for that para mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano siya gagawin. You can simply click that on top of this video. Meron po tayong link dyan. So, hindi po natin hindi-discuss dito kung paano ibabalance yung equation. Uh, what we are just discussing for this video is the format of the different types of reactions. So, third type of reaction, we have single displacement or single replacement reactions. In some books, it is called single displacement. In some books, single replacement, parehas lang yung kanilang tinutukoy. So, anong nangyayari sa isang single displacement or single replacement? One element replaces another element in a compound. Analogy, so you have a compound, you have an element. After the reaction, this element replaces this element. So, nagkakaroon ng panibagong compound na di-displace, kaya siya displacement or replacement yung element na yun. There are qualifications for an element to be displaced. Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na activity series. So, sinusundan yon para malaman kung si element kaya niyang i-displace yung isang element sa isang equation. Kung hindi niya kaya i-displace, mananatili yung reaction. Hindi niya mapapalitan yung isang element. Nevertheless, since we are dealing with reactions, we have an idea na kaya niyang i-displace itong isa. Kaya napalitan niya doon sa ating reaction. So, what is the general form? A, B plus X yields A, X plus B. Si X, pinalitan niya si B dito sa ating compound. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng panibagong compound. Nagkaroon lang ng rearrangement. Wala tayong pinasok na bagong element doon sa ating reaction. Example, we have here 2HCl, that is hydrochloric acid, plus zinc, 
yields zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Hydrochloric acid is a compound. Zinc is an element. Now, zinc displaced or replaced hydrogen. Kaya nagkaroon na ng panibagong compound composed of zinc and chlorine. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng zinc chloride. And hydrogen was displaced pero hindi naman siya nawala totally. Nag-iba lang ng position, naging hydrogen gas po siya. Another example, we have bromine plus potassium iodide. So, ano yan? Bromine, potassium, and iodine. Kapag combine na sila, potassium iodide yields potassium bromide plus iodine. Si bromine, dinisplace niya si iodine, kaya silang dalawa na ang magkasama doon sa ating products. So, mapapansin nyo rito na sa ating single displacement or replacement, usually, element yung isa nating reactant. Kung hindi element, compound siya na may single element lang. Ito kasi compound siya pero dalawang bromine. So, madidisplace niya yung isa and then sila naman yung magkasama doon sa ating products. Now, how is this different from what we call double displacement or replacement? This is the last type of reaction that we will be discussing in this video. So, in a double displacement or replacement reaction, it involves exchanging of ions to form new compounds. Analogy, meron siyang partner na may ribbon. Itong isa may partner na nakadress. Magpapalitan sila ng kapartner. So, nakita nyo rito, instead na yung babae na may ribbon ang partner niya, naging yung may damit. Tapos, nagpalitan sila ng partner. Ganun din sa actual reaction. The general form would be AB plus XY yields AX plus BY. For you to understand further, ayan, we have this example. Usually, the examples for this type of reaction are longer kasi it involves usually compounds. All are compounds. We have here barium chloride plus sodium sulfate yields barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. Ano nangyari? Dito magka-partner pa si barium at saka si chlorine. Pero sa kabila, ang ka-partner na ni chlorine ay si sodium. Ganun din, si sulfate ni sodium sa reactants, lumipat kay barium. Nagpalitan lang sila ng partner nila. Similarly, we have here, potassium bromide plus silver nitrate yields potassium nitrate plus silver bromide. Kaparehas nung nasa taas, nagpalitan din si bromine, lumipat kay silver. Si nitrate naman, lumipat kay potassium. Okay? So, that's all for the different types of reactions. Let's have a short practice activity. I have here some examples of reactions. I want you to classify them whether they are combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single displacement, or double displacement. You can simply write the letters. Okay, so to facilitate the activity, you can pause this video and think about your answers before you proceed because I will be showing the answers later. Alright, I'll give you five minutes.
Okay, so let's check your answers. For the first one, this is a combination reaction. Second is a decomposition reaction. The third one is a combination reaction. The fourth one is correct double displacement. And the last one would be a combination reaction. Okay, so that's all for the day. I hope that you have learned something from this video. And you can share this with your friends or classmates. See you next time. Bye!